Okay. So. This is going to be how to consistently two-phase the Spider Queen on True Boss Rush. With a melee pet. So, you can use Christmas Elephant, Ice Cube, anything that's going to do a static amount of damage. Without, like, ranged attacks or splash damage. You don't want any of that. You just want static, big, chunky hits. So, I'm going to go with this Christmas Elephant here. So, how the Spider Queen works is... It has three phases, and every phase it'll spawn these little spiderlings, and you have to kill all the spiderlings before it'll reveal itself again. And you can hit it. So, what we want to do is abuse the fact that every third of its HP, it'll phase. And we want to do as much damage in each phase as we can, in the first two phases, to skip the third one. So, I have a little sheet of numbers here we got 135 million hp but true boss rush pretty much everything has resistance so that's not the real amount of damage you have to do you need to do 270 million damage so for each phase we're going to need to do about 90 million there is a little wiggle room there it's not exactly this number this is just a third of its of the damage you have to do but this is this is accurate enough that you're going to want to aim for about half of this. So, that ends up being like 45 million, give or take. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit this dummy while hero boosting with this elephant. So, you can see I'm doing too much, actually. You want to be just around 45 million, and you can test if, you want, if you're doing enough or too much by... Taking this number here, pasting it into this calculator, and you just subtract the amount of damage you're doing while hero boosting. Make sure you're doing it while hero boosting. So we're going to go with this. Whoops, I messed it up. 45187000. Okay, so... Oh my gosh. <laughs> subtract... 45 million, 187, 000. Okay, so you want this number, this second number here, to be just bigger or just a tiny, tiny bit smaller because of that little grace area of damage. So you want this number to be very similar to the amount you're doing. So I'm doing too much damage, actually. So what I want to do is I have this weapon here, right here. I'm going to equip it to get a little stat loss, actually. you want I want to do less damage. So now I'm going to come over here. And now I'm doing way too little damage. I'm really far from 45 million now. And I want to be at 45 million, pretty much, per hit. So, luckily, I already have the number I need to get my weapon to. But what you would want to do is just slowly, slowly... Upgrade. Check your damage. See how close you are to 45 million. Also, keep in mind, if you're upgrading your hero boost, you need to refresh your hero boost between every upgrade. Because it won't update unless you s start and stop your ability. Or stop and start your ability. So we're still too far. I'll upgrade it some more. I'm going really fast because I already know what number I need to do. You'll want to upgrade slower. Because you want to be really on really on point with how much damage you're getting so I'm still too far Oops. I'll check again I'm still too far and I'll go to 100 So now I'm at 100, and this is going to be at the point where it's really close. Like, you're really close to 45 million here. So this is the point where you're probably going to want to pull out your calculator again. And paste this number in, subtract the amount you're doing. 604. And, okay, so we need to do a little bit more if we want to be right on pace. So you want to be really, really careful, because if you do this on ranked, 
you're gonna mess up and you can't do it again unless you get a new weapon. So I would really recommend you do this on open first. And then once you know precisely what number you're gonna wanna hit and make sure it works in the fight itself, then you go upgrade on ranked. So I'm gonna go to 110 and refresh my hero boost so it updates the extra 10. And then I'm gonna do the math again. So let's paste this number in. Oops. Subtract 45031380. Okay. So now you can see this number is a little bit smaller than the first number. So I'm doing a little too much, but that's fine actually. If it's only a thousand, only a few thousand too much damage, it should still work. I've tested this and actually it still works perfectly. I'm doing the perfect amount of damage where if my elephant is just wailing on those spider queens with hero boost, it'll just two phase automatically. I don't have to do any extra work. I, the strategy I was using before was I would go in here and I would unequip this before I do the final hit just so I get a bigger hit. But if you do it precisely enough, you actually don't even need to do that. You can just leave your weapon on and do the fight normally. And then once you're done with the fight, you just unequip it and use something else. And just keep that weapon, or you could do this with an accessory too. You can do it with whatever. Um, just keep that for when you need to do Spider Queen again. And it'll speed Spider Queen up by a lot every time. You can do this with uh, Crystalline Ninja as well. You're just gonna need more damage. Preferably a higher damage elephant. Because these, you can see these stats are really good. This is a really good armor set, so... If I were to do this on Crystalline Ninja, I would need a better Elephant, or Ice Cube, or whatever. To get myself closer to that 45 million. And then use a negative weapon, and or not even negative, it could be positive. It doesn't need to be negative. Just slowly upgrade until I do the exact amount of damage I need, and you'll just completely skip that third phase. It's very nice. That's pretty much all there is to it. It's very simple to do. You only need to do this once. Once you do it, you should be set for life unless you change your armor or get a better pet or whatever. Then you'll need to do it again with a new weapon or accessory. But you shouldn't need to use a great weapon or accessory to pull this off. You can just use like any garbage, whatever, just to hit the exact amount you need. If you're doing too much, you'll need negatives. If you're doing too little, you'll need big stats on your weapon. Um, just try to make sure it has move speed, because the move speed will help a lot during that fight, especially if you're using the big fat monk, the crystalline guy. Anyway, that's it. Good luck.